Welcome, foolish mortals. There's no turning back now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Disney fans? How's everybody doing today? You having a good week? Having a good day? Well, whether you answered yes or no to that question, uh, <laughs> I hope it's gotten a little bit better because you're now listening to me talk about my passion and one of my favorite things in the whole world, Disney. I hope that this podcast brings you a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness, a smile when you listen to it every week. So welcome, and I hope that if you're not having a good week or a good day, I hope that it gets better. So welcome to episode number 17 of the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about all things Disney. I'm not talking about just the Disney parks or just Disney travel. We talk about it all. So Disney parks, Disney travel, Disney toys, Disney movies, Disney shows, Disney games, everything. You name it. If it's about Disney, I'm going to talk about it. I'm your host. I'm Kristen. And you know me. If it's a Disney life, then I'm a happy wife. So if you listened along last week, like I said, then I am going to be talking a lot about Disney, um, Disney World in specific, Walt Disney World, the next few weeks. And the reason that I'm going to be talking about Walt Disney World so much is because we are 12 days from my family's next Disney World vacation. Countdown is at 12 days. I cannot wait. I'll probably be even more excited next week because, you know, it'll be less, but 12 days. So excited. I can't wait. It's going to be so nice to be in Walt Disney World for 10 days and just relaxing with my family, not worrying about, you know, things that are going on at home and at work and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be really great. So definitely, while I'm there, I don't know that I'll be able to get a full podcast out to you guys, but I will do my best to get some, uh, as I'm going to call them, shorties out to you guys, some shorty podcast episodes. So we're going to try that. I'm going to do my best there. So with that being said, uh, something exciting about our trip just happened uh, as of yesterday. As of yesterday, Mimi, Emily's grandmother and my stepmother, made it official that she is coming to Disney with us for a few days. Uh, she is going to come down at the beginning of our trip for a few days. So it's really great that she is going to join us and we get to show her, you know, our favorite place. It's, she's been there before, so it's not like it's her first time. But um, as far as I know, she hasn't been there since the whole family uh, went there when my, my sister and my stepbrothers and I were kids. Um, I say kids, I think we were like 17. Um, but that's, you know, that's a good 20 years. So, oh my gosh, I just aged myself. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so it's been a while since she's been there. And to be able to go with her granddaughter uh, makes it that much more special. So I can't wait until she gets to to come and see what Disney is like through Emily's eyes. And we made it so we have all of our fast passes together. Uh, it was a little difficult. I was working on that for, for a good little while yesterday. Um, had to lose a couple of rides that we were going on because I couldn't get all four of us on there. But it's we weren't really that worried about it. You know, Will and I, we weren't worried. So I'm excited that, that the four of us are going to get to go and Mimi's going to get to experience the excitement of um, Emily loving Disney World. So... That's exciting. Yay. So we are very, very excited about this upcoming trip. And so for today's show, I am going to talk about Walt Disney World, like I said, but I'm not, I'm not going to give you like the ins and outs and everything. I'm going to talk about what my perfect day in my favorite park would be like. And my favorite park in Walt Disney World is of course, the Magic Kingdom. People will say things different. I say, of course, because there's so much to do there. And we always do more than one day in Magic Kingdom on our trips. And I absolutely love Magic Kingdom. Like I said, there's so much to do. There's so much to see. All the great food. It's just amazing. So my perfect day 
in the Magic Kingdom. Join me in my my perfect day adventure. So my perfect day in Magic Kingdom would start and end in the Magic Kingdom. I would get up early and head over to Magic Kingdom before rope drop. And what people don't know is that if you book a breakfast reservation in Magic Kingdom before the park opens, you are allowed to go in before rope drop. You know, you see a cast member over um, over on the side and you let them know, hey, I've got, you know, a dining reservation at, you know, Crystal Palace or Be Our Guest or wherever at, you know, whatever time it is. If it's before rope drop, you can go right in. And usually they don't let you in too, too early, uh, maybe five or ten minutes before. And they'll let you in. And it's great to go in and have almost like the place to yourself. We got a couple of great pictures uh, one time when we did that. So it's it's pretty great. So I would do that. I'd make a breakfast reservation at the Crystal Palace. It's a buffet. And the food there is delicious. Plus, it's also a character dining, which even as an adult, I love the character dining. I love to get to see Emily with the characters and all of that. So it's so great. I love that. And the characters at Crystal Palace don't get much better. They are Winnie the Pooh characters. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? So you get to meet Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore. It's the best. I love it. We love it. So I would definitely start my day there. After breakfast, after a good meal, I would head back. I would go back and uh, check out all the shops on Main Street USA, especially the Emporium which if you have never been to Magic Kingdom, it's a very big gift shop. They pretty much have anything Disney that you could want there. So I would definitely head there, check things out, see if there's any souvenirs I want to get. I would hit the, let's see, I would hit Main Street Confectionery. I mean, come on, candy, sweets, who wouldn't want to go there? And Crystal Arts, we love to collect Disney um, pencil sketches. We have uh, three right now. We have Tiana, uh, Ariel and Eric, and Anna. And we're going to definitely get another one when we go. I told Emily and Will, I said, you know, this time we've got to get different characters. Let's not get a princess. Let's get like Mickey or, you know, the Fab Five or Mickey and Pluto, Mickey and Minnie, or different characters, maybe a Tinkerbell or Winnie the Pooh, something like that, not a princess. So we'll see what we come up with. After hitting all those shops, I would then head over to Adventureland, Frontierland, Liberty Square, that that little corner, neck of the woods. I would head over there and definitely hit some rides. Jungle Cruise is one of my favorites, and I love the Enchanted Tiki Room. It's not a ride, it's kind of a show, but I love it. It's very nostalgic for me because I went on it when I was a kid. So I love to, to go there and to see it. And it's, I don't know, it's nostalgic. I love it. And Emily's really excited this trip to, to go there and to check it out. We've only done it once with her, but we, we really liked it. So I'm excited about that. So I would definitely do that on my perfect day. And after that, I would head over to Liberty Square and ride my favorite Magic Kingdom ride, the Haunted Mansion. I've talked about it before. It's my absolute favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. So it's definitely my top five of favorite rides in all of Walt Disney World. So I would do that. After riding some rides and checking stuff out, I would then head over to the Jungle Navigation Co. Skipper Canteen for some lunch. It's another, you know, sit-down restaurant. It's so good. The food there is kind of a fusion of African, Asian, and Latin cuisine, and it's delicious. I can't rave enough about it. You know, we had gone there before the place opened, and we kind of got to see it was boarded off. You know, they were making something. So we got to go there within the first year that it was open, and we loved it. Absolutely loved it. We've been there uh, a couple of times, two or three times, and Every time we go there, I get the same appetizer. I get the, I'm going to probably butcher the way that this is pronounced. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong. 
and it's the Orinoco Ida's Sachapas. I don't I pronounced that wrong. So it's C A C H A P A S. There are these little pancakes that have like pulled pork on it and other stuff. So good. They are so good. I get them every time. They are my absolute favorite appetizer there. And I mean, you can't go wrong with the food there. It's really good. When we first went there, they had um, this like rice bowl, I want to say it was. And I got that. No, I'm sorry, not rice bowl. They had kind of like pho, like a noodle bowl, this noodle soup stew bowl thing. And I absolutely loved it. And they got rid of it. So I was super bummed. So hopefully they'll bring that back. Uh, I know we're not going there this trip. We did things a little bit differently. Um, but hopefully they'll bring that back because I loved it. It was so good. I'm a huge fan of pho, and uh, it definitely was reminiscent of that. So after some lunch, I'll head over to Fantasyland and Tomorrowland, ride some more rides. Of course, you got to ride the classic Peter Pan's Flight, the Little Mermaid ride. Of course, I have to ride that. The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney princess. Ariel, she's my favorite, so I've got to ride that ride. And when I hit hit uh, Tomorrowland, gonna ride Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. It's such a great ride. We get super competitive on it, and I absolutely love it. It's so it's so fun. You know, there's obviously some other great rides. Tomorrowland Speedway. There's the People Mover, which most people wouldn't think is a great ride, but I think it's awesome. I think, you know, you go along this track, it's not very fast, and you're going through, like, the inside of some of the great rides over in um, Tomorrowland. I think you might go through all of them, actually. Um, So, yeah, I would definitely hit up those, you know, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, It's a Small World, all of those great classic rides that are definitely reminiscent and nostalgic from when I was a kid I mean they didn't have Winnie the Pooh I know that's on the I believe it's on the track of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride Uh, but (laughs) but I love that ride so definitely get those and what perfect day in Magic Kingdom would be complete without making sure you get some Disney snacks now, what Disney snacks would I get? I would get all the Disney snacks. No, <laughs> um, I would definitely get my favorites. I always get popcorn, and I will usually get a popcorn bucket once a trip, and I will just refill that. And I think that's a snack credit every time you refill. Um, I forget exactly how much the bucket is. It's not exactly cheap uh, for a popcorn bucket, but I will usually always get one. So I'll definitely get popcorn. I get a Mickey bar at least once a trip. So obviously if I'm going to be in Magic Kingdom, I'm going to get a Mickey ice cream bar, churros. There is, so I think it was the last time that we were in Disney. I tried the Cheshire Cat's Tail that you can get over um, by the uh, the teacups. There's a, a stand over there. And um, Cheshire Cat's Tail, holy moly, is that good. If you have never had it and you're going to Magic Kingdom, definitely check it out. Definitely try it. After that, um, oh, and of course, I forgot my favorite snack, Dole Whip. I'd probably get Dole Whip more than once in my perfect Magic Kingdom day because I love Dole Whip. Most people will just get just Dole Whip, just the pineapple. I do the Dole Whip twist, so it's pineapple and vanilla soft serve twisted, and the sweetness of um the vanilla ice cream the vanilla soft serve cuts into the tartness of the dole whip so i think it's a perfect match i love it i always get the twist if you've never tried it definitely try it so those are the snacks i would get and you know checking things out definitely something in the afternoon after lunchtime that i would for sure on my perfect day i would check out is the festival of fantasy parade I love this parade. I think I love it so much because Emily loves it so much. I would definitely check that out, see what it's all about. I love it. It's just so great to see all of those characters, and it's just so fun, and the song just kind of gets into your head, and it's great. I would definitely check out the parade. If you've never seen a parade at Magic Kingdom, you have to see one. 
the parades there are by far the best. And Festival of, Fa- Festival of Fantasy is the best. So definitely check that out if you have never been. Definitely, definitely see it. You see bunches of princesses and characters. And it's just great. The floats that they have there are amazing. And Emily loves to stand uh, wherever we are, really, and wave at the characters. And she loves it when they wave back. And it's so great. So Festival of Fantasy is definitely in my perfect day at Magic Kingdom. And for the last meal, I guess, of the day, I would have dinner at the probably best restaurant, in my opinion, in Magic Kingdom, Cinderella's Royal Table. Now, it doesn't get much better than dining with princesses. (laughs) So you walk in and you can get your picture taken with Cinderella and then go upstairs and have a fabulous meal. Now we've been lucky enough to have lunch and dinner at uh, Cinderella's Royal Table. And and I want to say that the food is pretty much the same for lunch and dinner. We've never been lucky enough to have breakfast there. But that being said, the food is so good. I think I've gotten something different every time we've gone there we've only gone there a few times um but what I will say (laughs) and I laugh at this what I will say is that if you're lucky enough to go for lunch or dinner to Cinderella's Royal Table get dessert save room you know if you have the deluxe dining plan you get appetizer entree and dessert anyway but if not um pass on the appetizer appetizers are good don't get me wrong they're they're good the entrees are amazing but definitely get dessert and I highly I can't say this enough highly 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 recommend that you get the clock strikes 12 it's a chocolate dessert it's so good I'm gonna post pictures when when we go on the trip I'm going to post pictures to the podcasts Instagram so that way you guys can see uh, what that looks like it's so good it's so delicious so if you're lucky enough to go for lunch or dinner and you get dessert definitely 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 get one of the get that one get the clock strikes 12 they have some other really great ones too but the clock strikes 12 is the best so to end I guess we'll say my perfect day in the Magic Kingdom I would definitely stay for fireworks we don't stay for fireworks because Emily is kind of afraid of the loud noises that fireworks bring Uh, we do have headphones for her that usually work to kind of beat out that noise but um, she doesn't really like them she likes the lights and she likes the colors and she thinks they're pretty but she does not like the loud noises and that that fear and that you know she just doesn't like it. So we don't usually stay for fireworks whenever we go. We've done it a couple of times. The first trip we took with Emily, uh, we were in the park for the uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So we saw the fireworks then. And lucky for us, Emily slept through them. Not sure how, but she did. And uh, we were there for fireworks when we were at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And I blocked her ears because we didn't have the headphones with us. I blocked her ears so it wasn't so bad. And that's when she told us that she really liked the lights of it and she thought that that was pretty. So maybe, maybe give it another year or so, maybe she'll be okay with it. Maybe if I expose her to more more fireworks, she'll be okay with it. So maybe next trip, maybe next trip we'll stay. But that's how I would end my perfect day at the Magic Kingdom is with some fireworks so yeah there we go and fireworks don't get much better than Walt Disney World so yeah (laughs) and the day that way but that's my perfect day I want to know what your perfect day would be like would you would your perfect day in Walt Disney World be at Magic Kingdom would it be hopping around to different parks which park would you choose if you had to if you're park hopping which parks would you hop to? Would you try and hit all four of them? I think people that can do all four parks are amazing. I don't know how they do that and still ride some rides and do all that. I have no idea. I'm not sure how that works, (laughs) but I think that's amazing. So where would your perfect day be? 
Would it be Magic Kingdom? Would you be hopping? Would it be Epcot or Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom? Let me know. What rides would you go on? Where would you go to eat in those parks? What shops would you go to? What snacks would you get? What shows would you see? Everything. I want to know what your perfect day in Walt Disney World would be. So email me. Send me an email. Let me know what you would do. Where would you, would you go? What would you eat? All that kind of stuff. I want to know. The podcast email is dlhwpodcast at gmail. Send me an email. Let me know what your perfect day in Walt Disney World would be. If you have any comments, any critiques, any questions, any concerns, if there are certain topics you would like me to talk about on the Disney Life Happy Wife, let me know. Shoot me an email. You can either email me or you can DM me on social media. You know that we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. On Facebook and Instagram, it's the same, the same username, whatever you want to call it. It's at Disney Life Happy Wife Podcast. All one word. Disney Life Happy Wife Podcast. On Twitter, we are DLHW Podcast. DLHW Podcast. That's it. So follow me on social media. Head over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and follow along with us. I am trying to get better at posting on those. So, so yeah, definitely follow along and see what we're up to. I'm going to be posting tons when I'm in Walt Disney World. So follow along. Where can you listen besides, obviously, where you're listening now? You can listen on my blog, The Many Sides of Mom. The address is manysidesofmom.com. So head on over there, listen. There's a whole page just for the podcast, and it shows different places where you can listen with links to it. You can listen there. You can listen on Buzzsprout, Spotify, Apple, whether it's iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So I know that's a huge list. Anywhere you can really listen to podcasts, you can listen. So there you go. I'm going to try and get the podcast up on YouTube, hopefully within the next few months. So that's going to be a learning curve for me. <laughs> so hopefully I can get it up there for you guys as well. And you can listen, you know, through YouTube as well. So go there, subscribe wherever you listen, tell your friends, write me a review. I will read any review that I get on the podcast. So I'll start off, you know, my podcast episodes with reviews, you know, what you guys think and all that kind of stuff, what you think I should talk about, everything. So write me a review, write me a message, let me know what you think. And that's it. So that's it for this week's episode. I know it's kind of on the shorter side. I usually, you know, talk a bit more than, than today, but today was all about my perfect day in Magic Kingdom. So there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for listening. You guys have no idea how much I love doing this and how much I love bringing you my passion for Disney. Like I say every week, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to listen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll say it again. So that's it for the Disney Life Happy Wife this week. Like I said, I'm Kristen, your host. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Have a 